Hello, teacher. Hello, Eulise. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Welcome. How do you feel tonight? Uh, I don't feel very well, teacher. Mm -hmm. I need to I need to tell you mm -hmm. why I I haven't connected this this day because uh I have been pretty sick. So that's why I haven't connected. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. And we missed you. We really missed you. Yes, because we uh, started some new topics. And well, actually, your presence here is important, right? So yeah. that's why we missed you yesterday and Thank the you. day before. Yes. Okay. But welcome back. I hope you feel better soon. And if you want to be as a listener, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, remember to watch the videos to catch up. Okay? Yes, yes. Okay. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to your class number 23. Your class number 23. Wow, we're almost at the end of this course, guys. How do you feel? How do you feel tonight? Don't you feel excited? Don't you feel great? I guess we are about of ending. We are about at the end of this course, guys. Okay. Mm. 
let's give just a couple of minutes for everybody to join. They are on their way home. So let's wait for them. Okay, people, I think we are going to start because we have no much time to cover all the material. So we need to um, move forward in the manual. Okay, uh, we have some exercises that we wanted to uh, solve or develop. But at this moment, we are going to do just a short feedback. Okay, and I hope this feedback gives you the, the, or helps you to clarify all the situations about the passive voice. Remember that we were studying the present perfect passive voice, all right? Present perfect passive voice. It was yesterday. So allow me to go on, go over this feedback and then I'm going to call the roll, all right? So the agenda for today is that one, right? We want to start with the feedback, then we'll have a discussion. With, uh, on the platform, I posted um, an image with three uh, discussion questions. So you, want, you would give an answer. Okay, to each question after discussing with your partners. Then the present perfect passive voice um, will be included in the feedback also. And then we'll have an exercise, an online exercise. Um, we have this conversation that I told you yesterday about. Uh, it's about the safety measures in a production plant. When we are in a manufacturing process, we have a lot of hazards around and we want to um, control the risks and assess the risks in this a uh, very or with the potential of um, harm okay or getting heart hurt so we have this conversation role play, then we have the comprehension activity and we'll want to create a short safety a list of rules to create a, a manual sample, okay, a manual. Then we'll give our opinions, questions and answers about the topic. So the topic for today is safety measures manual okay safety measures manual and uh this will be in the context of a conversation okay the objective for today we have two because we have to combine the present perfect and passive voice um with the new topic, right? The participants will be able to provide safety measures to control risks at the production plan. And also you will be able to discuss the risks and hazards on the business operation. Remember that the business operation is not only in a production plant, 
the business operation um, it uh, is also in offices and administration or maybe outdoors or maybe in the parking lot, all the facilities, right? And maybe the garden and all the places, the cafeteria. So you have different areas in the factory or in your workplace. It's not only a production plan. Maybe the production plant is a different building and administration is another building is in another building and maybe those are the headquarters. And then we have like the branch branches um, specialized each one and one of the activities of the process of manufacturing, selling, um, showing, testing. So all the stages of the process of production uh, maybe uh, can, be uh, divided in different facilities, right? So we can find safety measures to any process of our companies, to any activity in our company. So we want to see the safety instructions today. Uh, that's what we say about the business operations, not only production plant, as we said before, right? But the business operation. Edwin, Antonio, could you please read the objectives for this class? Yes, teacher. Participants will be able to provide the pay measure quantum risk at the production plant. Another one too. Yes, please. Okay. Students will be be able to discuss their answers on the business operation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, then we are going to start with this exercise. We have an exercise, it's a brainstorm, and we want to uh, give some examples to the workplace hazards related to each of the categories that we have in these boxes like office hazards, electricity, I'm sorry, electricity and fire hazards, hazards and risks, hazardous substances, slip strips and fall strips. Okay, so let's start with the office hazards. I will give you this link and you may go and do this exercise. Okay, and then you are going to make the list. Okay. You are going to make the list right here. So allow me to go there. Okay, ahí está el link. Abramos ese link. Y es un eh, diagrama interactivo, okay? Ahí ustedes van a detectar los posibles peligros, eh, los sí, potenciales peligros que pueden haber en una oficina, ¿verdad? Office hazards. Entonces, vamos a ir ahí. ¿Ya están ahí ustedes? Lo que van a hacer es que van a mover su mouse sobre la eh, imagen y vamos a ir encontrando los peligros, the hazards. Entonces, vamos, donde ustedes se encuentren la primera línea blanca, le hacen clic, ¿ok? Y les aparece un número y les aparece un nombre de, o de la descripción de el peligro de el hazard, okay? How many hazards can you find? Ya llegó por ahí, Hosman? Yes, 
Yes, teacher. Okay. Vamos a ver Nelson. I don't know if Nelson is a listener tonight. Oh, okay, Jennifer. ¿Ya llegaron todos a esa página interactiva? No sé por qué siempre me saca una imagen ahora la máquina cuando lanzo un link, cuando comparto un link. Ok, Blanca, no problem. It's ok, you are as a listener. But if you want to participate doing the activity, this is an interactive activity. So Blanca, you can click on the link on the WhatsApp chat and do the activity to follow, right? Okay, now, how many hazards can you find? Did you find all of them? They are around 11, so move the mouse over the image. Identify the hazards. File on floor. Mm -hmm. Files on the floor, yes. Files on floor. Um, rocking on chair and chair. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Rocking, rocking oh. on chair. Mm -hmm. Rocking on chair is a, this is not a rocking chair, but you were moving over, right? So that's a potential hazard. You may fall on your back, right? May, maybe you can hit your head. So that's why rocking on chair. Box blocking on fire excite. Yes, boxes blocking. The fire exit, yes. Mm -hmm. The fire exit. Mm -hmm. Can you find the number one? Yes, it's an even floor carpeting. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's also a trip hazard. In the manual, we have different categories, remember? We have different categories. So I will go back to the screen on the PowerPoint. And okay. Okay, so let's try to um, annotate 
each of them or at least three of them, okay? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me one of the office hazards? Overload, ah, the one that you said, Hosman, uh, boxes blocking the fire exit. exit. Mm -hmm. What other? And even, ah, that's what we can write over here, right? Boxes and files. A stack uh, to high. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Repetitive movement. Mm -hmm. Order. Order, for example, world station ergonomic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, ahora les voy a compartir otro diferente, okay? Y vamos a ir a encontrar electrical and fire hazards. Ok, la voy a poner aquí en el chat la imagen porque creo que no entró. Ahí está. Y podemos ver ahí la imagen. Electrical fires, ¿verdad? Y ahí podemos ver algunos potenciales peligros, ¿verdad? For example, when blown fuses are tripping cir circuit breakers, right? Blown. Blown means that they are not working well or they are not well connected, right? They are not making contact. A tangle when you touch an electrical appliance, yes, of course. Right? If you touch something, te va a agarrar la corriente. Yeah? So you gotta be careful with that. Um, <clears throat> a burning smell from an appliance or wearing. Uh, this is very important 
because maybe, for example, with um, any kind of appliances that makes these uh, activities, manual activities for people, for example, the blender, the electrical oven, the microwave, or maybe the mixers or the choppers, usually. The yes, uh -huh, the fan, fans, mm -hmm, air conditioner, uh, they can reheat, right? They can reheat and then they can make a short circuit. That's the smelling of that something is burning. And also there are some explosions, right? And they leave the, the light arc and it, uh, it becomes fire, right? It becomes fire if it gets, uh, or if it hits with a combustion material, right? A combustion material. It could be paper, it could be fabric, everything, anything that it is near uh, with the electrical, to the electrical appliances, could get burned, right? Could get burned. So what are the, the hazards here? Uh, the hazards are extension cords with a different amperage, right? Amperage of the appliance. Then the light bulbs, the light bulbs uh, must be with the right uh, grades, right? Or the right measure. Um, then um, the outlets, the outlets, they, uh, you don't have to overload them. Uh, usually we use those that are with three entrances, right? And we connect the, the charger, the TV, the, the cable box, right? So uh, we are overloading this outlet, this switch. So we don't have to do that. That's a hazard, right? Hazard, overloading, overloading the outlet. Entonces, vamos a ponerlos por acá. Let's go back to the slide and let's write, okay? We're gonna use this same box. Okay. Okay, let's say overload a outlets, right? Outlets faulty wires. Um what else? Reheating, right? Reheating and burn mail from electrical appliances. Electrical appliances, remember that the most appropriate meaning will be electrodomesticos, right? So reheating and burn smell from electrical appliances. Then, ¿qué otro puede ser uno de estos um, posibles o potenciales peligros que la electricidad puede causar y llegar a ser un incendio. Short circuits, right? Um, what, what did we read over there? Ah, oh, the bolts, right? The bolts. Uh, it was lighting, lighting, lighting bolts. Uh, with this flashing and then terminant, right? So that's the problem. Bulbs. Uh, different amperage. I don't know if we, we can say um, amperage, amperage, right? Different um, um, amperage. 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 I have to. <clears throat> I 
Ni for an amperage, right? ¿Qué otro puede ser, jóvenes? Mm. Um, it said something about the, hey, did I close it? Okay, yes, I closed it. All right, then say, etc. <laughs> okay, etc. So hazards and risks. Hazard, hazards and risks, okay? Let's go right there. These hazards and risks are for a production plan. So I will share this through the chat. So go to the interactive diagram and let's look up these uh, hazards we can find in a production plan or in a factory. Remember it's interactive. So you move your mouse and click on each one you are finding out. So how many hazards can you find? So click on each one. Water and floor. Yes, water on floor. Mm -hmm. It can cause slips and trips, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or there, for example, machine guarding lighted. Lifted. Mm -hmm. Lift. Lifted. Lifted. Uh -huh. So, las tapas, ¿verdad? O la protección de yeah. donde se trabaja, it's without the guarding, right? La tapadera. The emergency exit, it's blocked. Yes, the em uh, emergency exit. Yes. It's blocked. Unsecured chemical. Unsecured, yes. Unsecured chemicals, yes. Unsecured chemical. Mm -hmm. Now, what a very important at the, for example, pilots blocking fire at site. The, the fire exit, yes. Fire the pilots exit. blocking the fire exit. Mm -hmm. Did you find out the number seven, guys? Ah, uh, the number seven is the exit, right? Hmm. Seven exit. Uh, number five, stacked material uneven. Stack, yeah, stack material unevenly. Stacked material unevenly. Uneven. Mm -hmm. Unevenly es que no está parejito, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh, que está todo desordenado uno por aquí salido del otro lado medio puesto desnivelado yes uh -huh. person working in front of the work forklift forklift yes yes person walking in front of a forklift uh -huh. Fork. yes Did 
Did you find out the number one? Yes, the rubbish on ground. Yes, rubbish on ground. Garbage is something. Rubbish could be mm, kind of a waste materials, right? But it's rubbish. It's garbage, right? Rubbish, rubbish on ground. Rubbish is more um, British. Yeah, or British. Okay, so I think we found all of them. Number eight, what was number eight? For clients, take it to high and driver cut in sky see. Mm -hmm. He can see, right? Because the charge or, or the load that it, he's taking, the forklift is right in front of his uh, vision area. And the person is right there, right? So it can be a crash, right? It can be a crash there, a very big accident. Yeah. Yes. All right. So now let's go and write them. Mm -hmm. Tell me one. Water on the floor, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Rubbish on the ground. Yes. On the ground. On that or on ground? On ground. On ground, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? And secure chemical. Mm -hmm. What about the exit? Pallets? Pallets blocking for exit. Alex Rockin, fire exit. Okay. And right now we are assessing the risks. Okay. Right now we are assessing the risks because we are observing. We are looking at the possible or the potential hazards, right? The potential hazards and the likelihood of the risk, right? So, um, let's think about what could be the causes or what could be the hazards that can um, end and slips, trips, and falls. Slips, trips, and falls. Deslizarse, caerse, tropezarse. ¿Qué nos puede dar ese riesgo? A ver. The water on the floor. Yes. The wet floor. floor. Wet floor. Mm -hmm. The hole in the in the floor. Uh, again, can you repeat it? Hole. Like this? No. Hole. Los hoyos. Oh, holes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> It may be if the, uh, I don't know. Mm, Remember? If, um, I don't know uh, the words, but uh, I mean, if the chemical uh, uh, out into the, the bowl. 
Ah, el derrame, derrame. Ah, okay. derrame. Let's say uh, slippery too, but this is like splash or something like that. Give me one second. Derrame, derrame, derrame. No, ah, spell, spell, S P I L L, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chemical spell, All right? Mm -hmm. Chemical spells. Um, <clears throat> that the place is untidy too, right? There are things over the all over the place, right? So untidy. Untidy, untidy place, right? Untidy place. Tell me. Mm -hmm. And if I ladder. Right, effectuals. What else, guys, can make you fall or make you uh, trip or to get a slip or something slippery like oil, like chemical spills? Mm -hmm. Defective, defective. Defective ladder. Okay, now what about the hazardous uh, substances? Uh, what will be the hazards? Hmm. If it spills on your eyes, then you can get blind, right? You can get blind. Mm -hmm. Intoxication by smelling, intoxication by consuming, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot uh, uh, have your control, uh, your body control. Oh, okay. So that's like... Mm, like this, body control, but mm, a, a brain shock. Uh, yeah, a shock. You lose, you lose. Body control get unconscious, right? But what could be the possible hazards? Maybe they are not well stored. Maybe uh, they are not in the correct containers. It's not labeled correctly, or um, it, you don't have the protection or using the protective equipment to handle this kind of substances. So those, those are like the hazards. These are the uh, harms that they can cause, right? These are the harms that they can cause. But the hazards are that you are not wearing your protective equipment, right? The correct one. Uh, maybe you need a, a, a gas mask, right? Mm. Because all these fumes are, Mm. 
nosif, right? I nosif for your uh, health. So you have to use the protective um, hmm, uh, equipment to avoid the hazards, to avoid the hazards. So let's go to the, um, one second. We'll stop sharing, guys. This is assessing risks, and this was part of the feedback, okay? Even though it was an exercise that we haven't um, developed yesterday or the day before, but we did it right now. So now we are going to remember what the passive voice is for, okay? What the pa how? How we can use it and um, some examples, okay? Don't know if I am the same thing. Oh, yes. Okay, now just remembering in our feedback, this was a the example we had, right? This was the example how to form the passive voice in the present perfect tense. Remember that we want to say something emphasizing the action is more important than mentioning the doer, that's passive voice purpose, okay? So for example, the new production team is our subject, have produced 2 million units per week. So this is active voice. Why? Because we have someone who is doing the action or who does the action, right? And then we have a direct object, then, to transform this into the passive voice, emphasizing the action, the direct objects uh, take the place of the new subject, okay? Then we have, for example, 2 million units per week. To form the passive voice, we add the verb being the past participle verb form. So we will say, have been produced, have been produced. Then we can or can't um, add the doer, okay? The doer, the person, the subject who is doing the action. It's optional. You can place it, you can not, okay? By the new production team. I can stop right here and it's okay. Two million units per week have been produced. But if I want to mention who uh, have been producing this, then it will be by the new production team. So this is the passive voice. Now, allow me to show you one other example, but you are going to do this example. One second. In order just to remember. Okay, this sentence, can you tell me if it is in the active voice or in the passive voice? Let's read it. They have conducted the customer's research after a well-planned stage of testing the product. Is it active voice or passive voice? An active voice. Active? Okay, so what's the subject? They. Okay, they, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the verb? Conducted. Conducted but we are using the present perfect tense. So we have, they 
have and has or has with the past participle verb form of the main verb. And now what's the direct object here? Uh, the customer research. There you are, the customer's research. Yes, the customer's research. That's our direct object. Okay, now let's transform this into passive voice. What should we do? We need to take the direct object as our new subject, okay? So it will be like this, right? The customers, well, actually I didn't add the apostrophe and the last one, but in this one it has it. The customers research, that's the direct object. Then I have to add the B in the past participle form right? And I add the complement as it is, right? After a well-planned stage of testing the product, okay? So let's say that direct object is our new subject over here, the customer's research. Then we have the passive voice formed by the verb I mean, by the... <laughs> have or has, depending on the uh, subject. And then the verb be in the participle form plus the past participle of the main verb of the sentence. And after that, we have the complement, right? The complement, there you are, there you are. We could, we could add it or we couldn't, right? It's optional by them. I can just tap till the period and then if I want I can add by the doer okay by I have to add this word by then the doer all right people si yo quiero pasar una de voz pasiva a voz activa y por ejemplo no tengo quien lo ha hecho no tengo el doer ahí, ok, si yo no lo tengo el doer, voy a usar el, gener el genérico o el general que sería they, ok, they es como el genérico, como nosotros decimos cuando no sabemos quién lo ha hecho, han hecho, verdad, igual, they, right? they have done this or that, quiénes, I don't know, but people, but houses, but things, but situations, whatever, in plural, genetic will be they, okay? So <clears throat> let's go to the next example. Is it active or passive voice? Passive voice. Passive? How did you identify this? Uh, the object, the manufacturing process uh, has been and the bearing past participle revised. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it will be that by, this. By the production management. Okay. The article by. All right. Yes. That's the doer, right? That's the doer. Even though we have, I thought you were going to get confused because of this by, but this is an expression, right? Step by step. It's complete. So it doesn't have to be with the other by, right? So, yes. So this is not by, right? This is not by. This is the by that we are talking about the doer okay we have to identify correctly so remember the, ma the manufacturing process is the subject that before it was an object uh, a direct object right uh, i wrote something uh <laughs> guys 
change the order, please, of these two letters. Change the order. Order. It's not O D. Okay, I always get confused with this. Do you know what the what O D means? Do you know what does it mean? It's something very ah, uh, <laughs> like overdose, right? So I don't want to do it like that. So it's D O. Okay, direct object. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> Then we have has been revised. So it means that if I have the verb be in the past participle form followed by um, the main verb of the sentence, then it's the passive voice, right? The passive voice. Then I have the doer. Then I have the doer. So the doer is going to be my new subject if I want to say this in the active voice. Let's transform this into the active voice. Let's transform this into the active voice. Mm -hmm. A ver, pasémoslo a la voz activa. Production management mm -hmm. uh, has revised the manufacturing process step by step to get any new update from the machine operators. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, will be something like this, right? Moreover. The production management has revised the manufacturing process. And then I add the complement, right? Step by step to get any new update from the machine operators, remember? All right, this was our feedback, okay? Till now, this was our feedback about the passive voice. And now, Allow me to take you to this exercise. Here it is. Everybody, please click on the link and let's do this exercise. You have to click on the phrase that completes the sentence correctly. We are going to transform the active voice to the passive voice, okay? Nancy, do you want to help to solve us? So, uh, I mean, uh, do you want to help us to solve this exercise? Maybe reading from uh, number one, two, and three, and then Nelson goes with four, five, and six, Hosman with six, seven, and eight, so on, all right? With the answer, right? Yes, or complete, right? Complete. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And number one is, I have finished the job. The job has been finished by me. Great. Number two, the cat has drunk the milk. The milk has been drunk by the cat. Great. Number three, the girls have plucked the flowers. The flowers have been plucked by her. There you go, thank you. Go ahead, Nelson. 
Uh, okay. Uh, number four. Yes, please. I have watched the movie. The That movie has been watched by me. There you go, number five. Uh, number five. Peter has broken another window. Another mm -hmm. window has been broken by Peter. There you go. Number six. And number six. I have written six letters. Six letters has have been written by me. Okay, there you go. Husband, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number seven, have you recited the parcel? Um, how the how the how the parcel being recited? Okay, the parcel is only one, so we use has. Okay. Use has. Okay. Mm -hmm. Has. Number has the parcel mm -hmm. been recited? Received. Mm -hmm. Received. Number A, have they accept, accept the invitation? Has invitation been accepted by them? By them. By them. Okay. Number number nine. nine, I have not heard for a long time. She has been now to meet for a long time. Very good, very good. Who wants to do number 10, 11, and 12? Number 10, our team has, has won the championship. The championship uh, has been won by our team. There you go. And number 11, she has made her, made her, made, uh, she has mended. 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 She has mended her way. Her way has been mended, mended by her. There you go. Mm -hmm. And the last, I have cooked diner. Diner has been cooked by, by me. me. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you very much, Osman. Thank you very much. Okay, people, is there any question about the passive voice in the present perfect tense? Questions? Sorry, teacher, lo voy a decir en español. A mí sí me costó un poquito anoche, la verdad, este tema no lo que lo había visto. Sí me quedé haciendo los ejercicios que dio. Y más que todo es que es de seguir la, la gramática, digamos, el cómo, el cómo está compuesto, ¿verdad? Pero eh, sí me tiende a confundir a veces tal vez de la forma, digamos, normal a pasarlo al pasivo. Uh -huh. Ahí es donde me cuesta un poquito, en caso de las oraciones, si sí, sí, estaba un poco más corta, se me hacía más fácil comprenderla. Pero ya cuando las que estaba explicando anteriormente, que eran oraciones más largas, sí se... se eh, hay, Hay una parte, pero creo que es más práctica que todo, que a modo que el, el, la mente lo haga por inercia, digamos, ¿verdad? Cuando ya más o menos sabiendo la, la esquema, como que automáticamente se va aprendiendo, por así decirlo. Pero así me, me ha costado un poquito aprenderme la, la regla, digamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. Uh, usually when we learn something for the first time, I think we have to practice. We have to practice and do different kind of practices because uh, we have done the written practice. We maybe want to listen to it by the news, right? In the news, you found a, a passive voice. Sin notarlo o notándolo, entendieron en las noticias, en la noticia que vieron ayer, ahí se usa la voz pasiva porque lo que importaba era la acción, ¿verdad? Cuando la voz pasiva es para cuando enfatizamos o es más importante decir lo que sucedió, lo que va a pasar, lo que pasó, lo que sucede, en vez de que quién es el autor de esto, ¿verdad? La persona no importa, lo que importa es la acción, 
para eso se usa la voz pasiva y en las noticias se mira mucho en la redacción de noticias si ustedes leen noticias las escritas también si ustedes escuchan noticieros les recomiendo que lo hagan verdad de tanto de el acento británico como el americano y ahí van a ver ustedes cómo se usa esto de la voz pasiva ok ahí la van a ir diferenciando aún más eso es en el listening verdad y al mismo tiempo en el escrito con periódicos, ¿verdad? Con periódicos pueden ser digitales también. Ok, sí, es práctica. Es práctica, la verdad. Y algo bien importante, probablemente en la voz activa es un sujeto, ¿verdad? Entonces, la forma del verbo have o has, y luego cuando pasamos al siguiente es otro sujeto y cambia ese have or has. Por eso tenemos que recordar mucho el subject verb agreement, ¿ok? En eso tenemos que ser cuidadosos, ¿verdad? Eso es porque ahorita estamos aprendiendo cambiando de activa a pasiva para entender el significado y la forma de cómo se usa. Pero ya en la práctica ni cuenta se da uno de cambiarlo activo a pasivo. O sea, uno solo lo dice, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It has been done, it has been made, it has been eaten, the cookie has been, a, um, I don't know, mixed, the cookie dough, whatever you want to say, right? whatever, whatever you want to say, okay? Uh -huh. A ver, hagamos ahorita una pequeña, a ver, ¿cuántos listeners tenemos? A ver, digamos, uh, one, two, three. Five. Five, one, two, three. No. La cuestión es esta. Ahorita en la plataforma tengo una actividad ya posteada de la discusión de nuestras tres preguntas, ¿verdad? Nuestra conversación. La idea era que nos fuéramos a los grupos, que lo platicáramos, ¿sí? Y, este, y que cada quien ponga su respuesta a cada pregunta, porque usualmente lo hacemos platicando aquí en la clase y no escribimos una pregunta. Entonces, ahora la idea es que, una respuesta. Entonces, ahorita la idea es que escribamos esa respuesta que estamos pensando. ¿Para qué? Para que ordenemos nuestra idea con sujeto, verbo, complemento, ¿verdad? Ya puede ser negativo, o puede ser positivo o puede ser otra pregunta de respuesta, ¿verdad? Bien, en la plataforma ustedes se van al que corresponde el día de hoy. Abajo del video del día de hoy, que sería creo que 4.4, sí, 4.4. Ahí he posteado yo acerca de safety measures at the workplace. ¿Qué son? 4.3 no sería dicho. Quiero ver, permítame, voy a verificar. No, uh, it is 4.4, que sería para la videoconferencia número 23. Okay. Ajá, se van hasta abajo y ahí encuentran el post. La, la actividad se trata de que usted le ponga una respuesta a estas preguntas después de haberlas discutido con su compañero, ¿verdad? Entonces voy a abrir los grupos independientemente eh, eh, esté de oyente o esté activo, por favor, eh, váyase al salón, ¿verdad? Váyase al salón para que usted escuche lo que está sucediendo y de lo que estamos hablando, porque este es un tema en el que les voy a pedir al final o la actividad de esta clase va a ser que ustedes tienen que hacer su propio manual de instrucciones de seguridad ¿verdad? para la producción de su producto. Ustedes van a, 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 van a evaluar los riesgos en su producción, van a evaluar eh, los hazards que pueden haber y también una solución. Por lo tanto, tenemos que escribir cuáles son las medidas a tomar. Entonces, aprendamos ahorita y tratemos de ampliar nuestro eh, vocabulario para poder hacer esto, ¿ok? Ya vimos al principio algún vocabulario que son los hazards, ¿verdad? Hazards en diferentes ambientes. Ahora, vamos a ir a platicar estas preguntas acerca de una production plant. Production plant. ¿Ok? Ya llegaron, están todos ahí. Ok. Eh, 
en la 4.4, dice. Sí. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, I don't know two verbs. Which and ones? In the last activity, plucked. Uh huh. And mended. mended. I don't know. I don't know. Is mended is uh, arreglar. Uh, yes, it's to fix. Yes, mend like, is to like fix. Like a fix. Yes. But in the in the sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, what did it say? Cual. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, no, no, no. Como que ella arregló arregló los. Los caminos, pero déjeme ver cómo es que decía. Ajá, hairways, hairways, uh, sus Ajá. maneras, sus maneras, sus formas. No su camino de caminar, no, sino que okay. su forma Ajá. de actuar sería way. Entonces, Ajá. mend sería como enmendar su camino, right? Uh -huh. Ah, enmendar también. Ajá. Exacto. Ah, esa, es que ahí no le hallaba el, el match, sí. Ok, el plan es cortar, arrancar la flor, ¿verdad? Cortarla. Arrancar, pensé. Uh -huh, ah, uh -huh. ok, thank you. Ok. No sé si estoy equivocado, tal vez estoy viendo una foto que está en un sillón con un casco en una eh, tipo cueva circular. Ajá, abajo hay un link. Justo abajo de eso hay un link. Que no. lo lleva uno al, al, al 4.4, la videoconferencia 4.4 de la plataforma. Sí, no me voy a creer, pero tal, yo creo que no lo hay. Viendo la foto, le estoy dando hasta bajito, hasta bajito y no lo... No. Ahorita te lo más, ¿dónde está? Espera. Sí, bueno, reunión. ¿Puedes ver la pantalla? Sí, esa es la imagen. Este link. No sé si ves que lo estoy señalando. Este. Ah, ya. Y ahí ya dirige a la videoconferencia de, de la plataforma como tal. Ok, gracias. Bueno. Han afectado a varias familias que habitan en esta vivienda ubicada en la comunidad Morelo, calle a los planes de vender en San Salvador, donde... Vaya, entonces lo que tienen que hacer, what you have to do is to discuss and then reply um, what you think about or reply your answer, okay? Uh, teacher, but uh, we need see the video, video conference. No, no, actually no, because we haven't uh, uploaded the the video conference. It's this one. It's this one. This is the conference number 23. Okay. Uh, the only thing that link means is that it's located uh, or rela uh, related to the video conference number 23 because of the topic. Okay. Only see the imagine maybe and answer mm -hmm. the question. Yes, watch okay. the image and then you are going to read the question, discuss over here with your partners, and then you write an answer. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, I'm here. I understand now. 
proyección. Ah, pues yo había know. entendido mal. <laughs> no problem. Ok, the first question. Hello? Yes. Estaba hablando quizás en mute. Yes, you were muted. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay, number one. Uh, are manufacturing plants dangerous place to work? What do you think, guys? The use uh, the chemical. Yes, the exposure. We may say exposure yeah. with chemicals and odors. Odors is the name uh, because normally the manufacturing plants they have um kind of robots or big machines that and have to be kept in maintenance. And yes, and usually they have to stop the production because it could be very dangerous if the machine is working when they are, for example, calibrating or um, fixing any kind of machine or any, any, any artifact or bottom or something like that? That is, ah, no, could be a strong yes. head or okay, malice. Would, would a safety program prevent accidents? Mm -hmm. In some cases, uh, or it depends on uh, the people. Because uh, some people mm, does does uh, some people don't want to follow the instructions. Mm. And the programs uh, actually uh, in the actuality. Uh, exist, but uh, the people, the people, the people could uh, follow the process.
¿Cómo así? Oh, the question is, where is a very program prevent accident? Yes, it would. <laughs> okay. Uh, For me, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could be sometimes when the people. Okay. Yes, is a good. Okay. What else? Uh, mm. yeah, it no. Yes, I. Ah, cierto. Sorry. Yes, is good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh, why? Because uh, the very program prevent could mm. not everyone. This very safety programs could have to everyone or or the safety to programs the... pretend to help uh, the people uh, to care uh, the health so uh, this the is safety very programs event, uh, what go ahead the safety programs are designed to to maintain uh, keep the people keep. safety keep the, keep the people safety designed to keep keep the people safe is correct safe, no safe yes uh, yes. The people safe, people safe while they working. They are walking. They are walking. We oui. <laughs> working. Yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, design. Uh, yes. Or it's correct. Uh, are made. Are make. The safety programs are make. Are do. Do. Because it's not, not a product there. Uh, um. yeah. Could be designed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Number three. Uh, what type of rules do you think uh, a safety plan has? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, it's a list. Number one, uh, for example, uh, Mm. Avoid uh, the people need to avoid a dangerous place. And the people, the people, or or people. Mm. And risk. Mm, sí, tiene razón. No sé cómo usted lo puso, pero que sería. Ajá, porque lo que sí es que no sé si aquí sería off o off. Igual, por eso es que quería eh, como eliminar esa, ¿Sí? ese off. Ajá. Ajá. Ya tiene más sentido, sí, que vale. Sí. 
La última dice. What type of fuel do you think as a fairy plant has? What, what kind of rules do you think a safely plant has? Uh, the personal uh, protective uh, equipment. Equipment. Yes. Okay. Como el equipo de protección personal. Personal equipment. I don't, I don't know if it's correct. Ah. E Q U I E M E N T. Equipment. Oui. Yes. Okay. Personal. Per the personal uh, protective equipment. <laughs> oui. <laughs> Sorry. Protective. Oh, but I'm protective. Okay. Okay. Number two. Uh, another rule mm, in this place. Um, um, process to use. How to use machine? What? Respect the process, how to use the machine. The instruction. Uh, will be. The instruction about how to use the machine. Don't work in, uh, between, uh, into the, the, the machines. When when, it's on. when these equipment are working, is a rule, for example. Yes. Espérenme que se me arruinó esto. Me escuchan. Yes, man. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, repeat, please. Uh, don't work. Mm -hmm. How do you say mientras? While? While? The equipment. Hay otra palabra que sustituye al while. Uh... Meanwhile, the no. teacher says. As could be. As. Or weirder, creo. Podría ser. Let me. Uh, 
poco, ya lo vimos hace poco. Meanwhile, or why is okay? This is says the teacher. Okay. While the equipment is working. Don't work while the equipment or machine. Or machine uh -huh. is the same. Uh -huh. The machine is working. Okay. Ah, sorry, man. Don't work into the machine while the machine is working. Don't work into the Don't machine into while it. it's working. Yes. Uh. Another rule is don't listen to music Come on. into the space work work. I am part of the committed security. I don't I don't know the committed safety. <laughs> uh, or don't, uh, don't don't listen don't music. Just listen to phone. music. Don't use the cell phone is is another. Uh yes. While while you you are or you stay in the in the in the work or working. The work areas. Okay, then the number three. <laughs> don't don't what? I don't on the don't I listen. don't understand them. Don't uh, avoid distract distractions like music or cell phones. A voice, a uh, avoid. Uh, avoid to distract. Uh, it's correct. Distract or teacher. Distract, eh? But but a boy is a recommended no pro. pro Prohibition. Actually, it is. A voice is uh, it's un, prohibi conse un consejo, es evitar. It's an imperative. Uh -huh. Imperative. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, es una orden. Prohibition. Prohibition. Uh -huh. Prohibition. Mm -hmm. You are, you are uh, prohibiting listening to music or using cell phones in an indirect way, right? <laughs> Quiero formularla de otra forma. All right, go ahead. It's correct. Eh. Actually, the worker is able because he's not a um, a Deft, right? He's not deft. Deaf? Yeah, he's not deaf. So he can listen to music. He can listen to anything, any kind of sound. So is not able. Mm -mm. That means that he's not capable. So you have to write, it's not allowed. Yes, permitido. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Allowed. Thank you. Hmm? Okay. Another? And could be I respect the safety signs. Oh.
Okay, guys, here we are. So we've got some answers. The one, uh, first one is from Glenda, and she says, uh, are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Yes, they are. The manufacturing plants are dangerous to work. Yeah, it offers any, any well, a, num a big number of hazards, right? A big number of hazards because we are doing manual labor and we are in contact with different kind of machines, right? Would safety program prevent accidents? Yes, it would, right? When the company has a safety program, it's more probably to prevent accidents because the workers have the knowledge about it. Okay, yes, they are acknowledged. What type of rules do you think a safety plan has? Immediate action to take, procedures to secure the area, important person personnel to contact regarding incidents, correct methods of communication to alert others about incidents, safe handling instructions and applications, evacuation routes, reporting on data collection procedures, training plans, waste or equipment disposal. Yes, and the way to stop. To stock all the products, right? Yes, you're right. So different kind of procedures. And then Ana Lorena says, mm, no, apparently, because the manufacturing has been dealt under us testing risk. Okay, this one that she knows about, right? Because they have taken all the um, measures about the risk, right? They have planned already. Uh, the manufacturing needs to identify and identify and control the hazard and risk on workplace. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and that's one of the reasons. That's one of the purpose to prevent accidents. Yeah, to reduce costs too, right? Employees need to use the safety equipment to avoid an accident. Correct. Wilbur says. Uh, well, actually, yeah, just like Lorena. Correct. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. I have only these answers, guys. Please reply your answer for each one. And now we are going to go to the manual. In the manual, we have a conversation to practice. We want to role play this conversation. It's about things are uh, probably situations in the production plan. So we want to see uh potential hazards okay potential hazards mm, it says three new there you go postman okay closed and unventilated place lack of stairs oh yes it could be a very dangerous thing yes the company would a safety uh the company would follow or plan right a safety program uh prevent is necessary prevent life okay preserve life the personnel and maintenance of the place for normal duty yes correct equipment usage rules first aid maintenance program correct um the people need to use the personal protective equipment on work into the machine while it is working. The worker is not allowed to listen to music during uh, working hours. Now respect the safety symbols, yes. Mm -hmm. So follow the rules, right? Follow the notice or notices. Yes, it would. The safety programs are designed to keep, design will be, a, G before the N and then ED. Yes, it is because uh, in these places are all type of machines. Okay, aquí fijémonos en el subject verb agreement. Okay, porque tenemos our manufacturing. Yes, they are. Okay, yes, they are. Y aquí sería en plural, these, right? These places. This is only one. Okay, there you go. Nancy says, yes, they are dangerous for the workers since they have the probability of being injured. Having any kind of accident with machines that are very heavy and large, they normally have to give maintenance to the machines and carry heavy things. Also inside the plant can start a fire or short circuit, correct. Mm -hmm. The main objective is to protect the workers from hazards or potential risks, correct. 
use the right equipment to have first aid, correct. All right, people. So I think we have understood the idea of this and now we go to see how this work, okay? We are going to see how this work. So here I've got it. Okay, here we've got the conversation. Read the following conversation between employees at a manufacturing plant. They are talking about the new company safety measure plan. Gee, how many safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles um, have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store tools, in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to private uh, scatter tools outside the tool room. Okay, there you go. Vamos a ver entonces. Démosle una leidita, 30 segunditos. Teacher, in what page did you say? Uh, 35. You are mute. Oh, sorry, guys. I thought you were uh, seeing the. You were able to watch my 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 screen. I'm sorry, guys. Here it is. Are you able to see it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, I will read it again and I will read it slower, okay? It says, gee, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, store tools in proper location. Uh, so my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away? Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to private cut uh, scatter tools outside the tool room.
Is there any questions so far about the vocabulary? The word scattered. Scattered. Um, anywhere, things around and not the proper location. Like, uh, dejadas así a lo loco, disperso, dispersos. Yeah. Is there any other question? Okay, then let's listen to Mr. Salvador. Are you able to participate? Excuse me, can you repeat? Uh, okay, uh, I, I was asking to you if you are able to participate. Are you available? Yes. Okay, thank you. Then Salvador and Glenda, please. Okay. Sí. Okay. <coughs> I gonna I will be a uh, Joe or Diego. Okay. Mm. Salvador is Joel and you are Diego, Glenda. Okay. Okay. G have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. They are not safely measured in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear either ear protection gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plug, store, store tools in proper location. So my cargoes and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to provide to prohibit skater tools outside the two room, the tool room. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, now, Nelson and Wilbur, please role play the conversation. Okay. With intonation, guys. Okay. Teacher, uh, uh, what's the meaning of gi? G is like, G. oh, Jesus, right? Or, oh, oh it's yellow. an expression. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. G is correct. Yes. Okay. G, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Mm -hmm. Your Googles have been taken away. There are there are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection gloves, reflective a vest, protection belt, helmet jacket, rubber pots, earplugs store tools in proper locations. So my goggles and, and the other tools I left around here have been taken away? Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to provide scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, now let's refine some pronunciations here. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I have uh, I have been uh, from pronounced the this word scarlet in the Google Translator. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Y me sale escarlata. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, maybe you wrote a letter L or something. I'm not sure because I'm not, I practice, but 
uh, the the machine doesn't understand me. Uh, oh, pronouncing. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I left it. Listen, listen. Scattered. Listen. Scattered. Scattered. Get it? Scattered. Scattered. Prohibit. Prohibit. Ok, vamos a ver en esta de arriba. Dice, esta es una frase que todo el tiempo la estamos usando. O sea, le puede agregar me aquí. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding. Will be. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. Everybody, say it please with me. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. Again, please. You've got to be kidding. Okay, you've got to be, you've got to be kidding. Five times. You've got to be kidding. 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 Okay. Uh huh. This is you've got to. You've got to be kidding. Okay. Usually, when you listen to it, yes. When you listen to someone speaking, uh, you are going to know that this is what they are referring to. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. So let's read the other one. This is to where, to where, where, where. Everybody, where, where. where? where? Yes, where? correct. Uh huh. In your protection. Ear protection. Ear protection. Ear yes. Protection. Mm -hmm. Ear protection. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Mm -hmm. Rubber, Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Mm -hmm. No bots. Boots. Bots Rubber. es un robot. Okay. So sería Rubber boots. Boo, boo, boots. Rubber boots. Ajá, que son botas con suela de goma, ¿verdad? Ear plugs. Ear plugs. Ear plugs. Ear plugs. Ear plugs. Yes, there you are. Ear plugs. Okay, and. Scattered. 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 Uh -huh. Pero scattered. ya estilizado, scattered. It's scattered. Prohibit, scattered. Yes. Mm -hmm. Outside, outside. outside. The tool room. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So we have just five minutes and let's answer the questions we've got right here. What items <laughs> is you are looking for? Looking for, I'm sorry. I'm just getting His your pronunciation with the uh oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. His Google. Okay. His goggles. 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 Yeah. Yes. Goggles. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. His goggles. But it says items. Items. Right? Mm -hmm. And he said, he said something. My goggles and the other tools. The other tools, so some tools and the goggles. What is the new safety measure about? What is the new safety measure about? Mm -hmm. mm, prohibit the scattered tools outside uh -huh. the tool room. Okay, and? The safety measure about. Uh -huh. Are required to wear uh, new kinds of protections or yes, all your equipment, right? Your oh, protection, protection equipment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the uh, PPE, right? PPE, personal protective uh, equipment. 
Now, in your opinion, what should tools not be scattered in the production plant? Why do tools not be scattered in the production plant? Any word should be scattered in any production plant. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, mm -hmm. you are, uh, I don't know how to say it, because you are exposed. Exposed, uh -huh. You are exposed to, to suffer an accident. Very good. That's correct. Yes. It can be a cause, right? It's a potential risk or a potential hazard. Okay, guys. So this is the passive voice and we have just three minutes. So let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's complete the sentences and questions uh, choosing the appropriate form of the verb or the appropriate meaning of these verbs. Number one, it says three new safety measures, plural or singular? Reuber, both. Plural. Mm -hmm. So have, right? Have. What, what goes next? Ben. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál verbo le ponemos? Make, create. 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 Okay, create. created. Remember, passive voice. Created. Okay, vamos a ver si nos combina bien y si no nos hace falta el create. We, new earplugs. We, have been what? Created. And number two? Oh, New no. Year plugs. Okay. Given. Okay, given. Mm -hmm. Number three? The new safety goggles are nice. Okay, they, they have, have been innovated. Okay, number four. Steel toe boots. Plural or singular? Have or has? Plural. Have. Plural. Okay. Have been. Have been. May. Mm -hmm. May. Genuine Lira. Genuine, right. Mm -hmm. And has, what about number has five? Been, has been the new safety officer. Primero sería has been. Primero been. es has, ¿verdad? Just. Yeah. Ahora, been what? Trained. Okay. Hmm. Now, what about number six? Have or has? Have. 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 We've been. With. Have we been? Been issued. Issued. Sure. Issued the new helmets. New helmets. Mm. Give Gab. Well, he has been with Gab. Have we been used? Uh, been used uh, with the new helmet? <laughs> Ya no me acuerdo de la respuesta, pero ay, se las debo esta. Ya son las 10 y 1. Okay. 
Te las debo. Uh -huh. uh, have been issued. Uh, okay. It's because if it has a problem or they, or they ordered or something like that. Well, actually issue is a very wide meaning. So I think- Or maybe another word has yeah. been for that uh, sentence. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, yes. Uh, in this case, the, the meaning of issue is for um, provided or given. So you can use given or issue in both, right? In both, right? There you go. Okay, people, I will call the roll. So please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you say present. We are going to do it quickly. So please help me with this. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Teacher. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Present. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Um, permítanme que se quedó frisado. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán me dijo present o fue Carlos Alberto, chicos? Yes, Carlos Eduardo. Carlos Eduardo, okay, thank you. There you go. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present Eulice teacher. Torres Torres, thank you, Edwin. Present. Thank you, Eulice. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Present. Okay, Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Um, Osman yeah. Atilio, thank you, Salvador. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. I'm here. Ok, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Ok, Raúl Ernesto González. Rosa Raúl. del Carmen de Enrique. on the chat. Flores, yeah, I saw that he was as a listener tonight. Yeah, thank you very much, Nelson. Rosa del Carmen Enriquez Flores. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present. Okay. Rosa, did you say present? Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. He was as a listener tonight too. Okay, people, uh, if you have any question about the homework or the final exam, please let me know through the chat, but please remember that on Friday, you must finish all the platform activities. If you already finished all your homework, then you can uh, participate in the discussion forums. Remember that I posted um, a list of uh, activities that you can, um, discuss or, well, participate and uh, practice reading, writing, listening, and comprehension in any way, okay? So please, you are welcome to participate in the discussion forums. And the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is available, guys, even though it was for Carlos Eduardo, right? Carlos Eduardo, no, Carlos Alberto. Ok, bueno, ¿quién, ¿quién quisiera quedarse el día de hoy? Ah, pues no, quítenle fuego al café, mucha, porque no. <laughs> ok, people, yes, who wants to stay with me? Just for 10 more minutes. O todos se quieren quedar los 10 minutos para reforzar. No, teacher, no. Ya todos saliéndose ahorita. Vea. Ok, bueno. Última oportunidad, last chance. 
three, two, one, and no. Okay. Okay. No problem, guys. I'm always available for you. So uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. See you tomorrow. Please bye do your bye. homework. Bye bye. Have a good night. You too. Bye. bye. Good night, everyone. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Nancy. Uh, with the progress, um, I think I finished the, the final exam mm -hmm. because it says I have the 100%. Mm -hmm. But, but, but in the graphic, mm -hmm. uh, is gray. Yes, that's the color assigned. That is why it shows in different grays. It shows in light gray, then dark gray, and then the dark red too. So red is for homework, gray is for exams. That okay. makes me confused <laughs> for the color. Yes, you think that you have to uh, fill all the graphic with a red color, but no. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. But the gray is the one assigned for the, for the exams, all right? Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. well, thank and you. It, and if it says 100%, that's okay. There you go. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it says 100%. Okay, then don't worry. You are done. Right. Thank you. Okay. So participate in the discussion forum, okay? Right. <laughs> yes, you're welcome to do it. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Nancy. Bye. Bye-bye, Karen. Bye-bye, Jose Miguel. <laughs>